All right, folks, it's March 8th, 2020, at 3 p.m. here in Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. And it's like maybe two degrees on the on the plus side today. Even though we had a snowstorm yesterday, it wasn't a huge snowstorm, but there is lots of new snow down on the ground. But there's the light provider doing its thing. Slowly, slowly, slowly melting snow. I actually think it would melt it a little faster, I mean, but I guess not. Also, skies are pretty blue, pretty clear, you know, a little bit of chem haze where planes are flying by. Uh, to the north, there's a lot more of the chem haze left over by chem trailing. You can see the chem trailing in the clouds itself as well, where it's starting to fan out and get a little wider. But I mean, other than that, guys, it's a pretty beautiful day. I was going to do the video a little earlier, but I got caught up watching uh, some other videos from a couple channels I really enjoy because of the knowledge and the truth they put out. Uh, I don't know how people feel about the coronavirus, but there's a lot of channels out there that are showing real, real information coming out of China, Japan, those areas. Uh, it's not a pretty place to be, I suppose. There's a different cloud all by itself being pulsed from what I can see. Our badass light provider. Yeah, so I mean, there's not a whole lot to look at today, guys, other than how bright the snow really is. It's burning the eyes out of my head, to be honest with you. Yeah, hope everybody enjoys, you know, nicer weather. It is still a little cool out, of course, but we are on the move to warmer weather, I believe. If, if we survive the upcoming plague that's going around the world, the numbers are really, really off as well. Uh, one of these channels I'm talking about is Raptor News. Uh, that, that man, <laughs> he's not scared to spread the truth or the word of God. And I highly recommend people actually going to check him out. His last few videos have been, uh, quite eye-opening to what's actually going on in the world and myself you know uh, I'm not scared of a lot because I believe God is my protector but at the same time I do have family away on vacation in Florida so I pray that they're safe and they have a good time at the same time but hopefully they're smart enough in their head to take the precautions because there is a lot of places in Florida that are probably going to be quarantined. I mean, <laughs> I watched a video where they're moving uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of coffin liners into Florida. So they obviously know something's going to happen. How fast, how bad, not 100% sure, but. It's better to be wise than ignorant. And anybody out there, you know, if you have any doubts or you think it's just bullshit, open your eyes, really look. I mean, where I'm at, it's quite secluded, Cape Breton Island, you know. There's, I think there's like 200,000 people max here in Cape Breton, so. And that's not counting Nova Scotia. That's the rest of the mainland that we're attached to by the causeway. But hey, it can happen. It can happen. It's happening in other places. Millions and millions of people are now infected. I'd say at least probably a million people are dead. And, you know, to keep the public calm, cool, and collective, 
they're really censoring information that's coming into Canada and the United States and some other countries as well. So it's just a heads up, guys. I love you all. I hope you have a great day. Enjoy the sun if you got it. And I'm out.